Franz Liszt, and I'm doing the program Concert Examen in Orchestral Conducting. So I come originally from Barcelona in Spain. In our studies here in the Hochschule, we learn maybe like two or three different areas. So one is the most more technical aspect of the conducting, so where we really work on, on baton technique and how to express our um, musical ideas through gesture, but then we also learn about the more um, historical aspects of the topic. So we discuss with the teacher and uh, other students um, what we can do with different works of art, um, the history behind different works of art and their composers, and how we can bring them um, to life in, in the 21st century, so that it's still interesting for, for the audience nowadays. <laughs> Yeah, the Hochschule für Musik here in Weimar is one of the best places to study conducting in Europe. Um, not only because we have great professors, but also because um, it attracts uh, attention of great musicians. I have great colleagues and also we have loads of opportunities to conduct orchestras um, around. <laughs> So for the concert examen, you obviously need to have um, a master or a bachelor in conducting before, but, uh, but it's very free. The only thing that I had to do is send my videos, send my application, and then um, they do a pre-selection where they um, choose three conductors that come to Weimar and then do uh, an audition, well, like a rehearsal audition, with, um, with the orchestra here, which is the Staatskapelle Weimar, which is an incredible orchestra. It, it perha it's perhaps not suitable for people that like to have um, a very busy schedule um, set by, by someone else, as we say. Um, so I think here in Weimar you have to come with a much more um, individual uh, idea on, on what you want to do with, with your study. So, I have to um, organize my day, essentially, how I want to, so I'm, I'm quite free. So it, I think it was mostly the professor, uh, so my conducting teacher, and also the opportunities that, that I have to, to conduct professional ensembles. So usually in most conducting courses you conduct um, student orchestras, which is obviously good to start with, but uh, at some point you really have to start getting experience with professional ensembles. And Germany is one of the, well, it's the, con the, the country with most orchestras and opera houses in the world. And I would say that maybe Weimar is like a very little uh, Cambridge or Oxford. So it's a city that has a lot of student life um, loads of libraries, loads of study spaces, loads of social life with, with students. And, but at the same time, it's really calm and quiet, which is something that I really appreciate in the city. And it's historic, historically incredible. I mean, like every day you learn something new. There's plenty of bars, plenty of um, social activities in, in Weimar. And I've, I've met people from, from, you know, from the Bauhaus, from the Hochschule, and uh, in every social event you always end up meeting new people. And everyone is very friendly here, so um, I think because it's so few of us, we, we all appreciate getting to know new people. For example, I was very surprised that um, that paying by cart is not possible in many places. So for the first month or two, um, I struggled by, you know, having to go to to banks and uh, and get out cash, and then having to pay the fee um, from the bank in Spain. So it's important when you come that you bring some cash that you can spend um, in in other places. <laughs> Yeah, so I think one of the um, 
most important advice that I would give to anyone coming here is to try and learn German as well as you can before you get here. Because it's, it's really necessary to, to be able to communicate with, with people here and to be able to understand conversations. So yeah, German, important. Thank <laughs> you.